Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, versus fighting 2018. Glad you guys are having some fun. Spag, Tasty Steve, hope you guys are enjoying. Now, we have uh, almost reached the end of our magical road. However, we still got plenty of matches to play. Our next match already on the stage, JDCR will be going up against Kakoma. Now, this is the match that Kakoma was waiting for. This is the dude he can't beat, Steve. He needs to win this one because this is the one he has been waiting for. He, 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 um, he was very visibly upset when he lost to JDCR earlier. Mm -hmm. And he wrote on Twitter after losing that, you know, I just, I can't beat this guy. It really upsets me that I can't do it. You know, JDCR is super, super solid. He seems to have Kokoma's number, but, you know, Kokoma's uh, worked his way back up in this loser bracket and in order to get that chance to play against JDCR. Let's see if he can do it this time. Yeah, this is, like I said, regardless of how good of a player you are, and we're talking about Kokoma, this is JDCR. This dude has been on a tear for quite some time and still one of the most constant threats. Like, to be honest, there is no threat like JDCR. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't think really in, like, any game. I feel like now Tekken is really, like, outlining those people that if you go to a tournament that are always a threat no matter what. And I feel like JDCR is now one of those players. It's like, because of his play style, right? He's very defensive. His movement is amazing. His punishment, everything, he ticks every box. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's consistent. And that's why he is such a threat, like you say. But let's see now. I, I have a feeling Kokoma's gonna go for Kazumi here. What do you think? I mean, he lost before, but we've seen it. We've seen JDC struggle in this matchup before, previously. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I don't think he's gonna pick, like, you know, uh, I don't think he's gonna try to go for the mirror. So I think Kazumi would probably be the best pick. Or maybe even Devil Jet. Well, he's been forcing that Geese uh, pick a lot as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. He has been forcing that Geese pick. It feels like that character he wants Seriously to really pick, but on. who's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for Paul. He's got, he's got so many characters he can use. Hovering uh -oh. over Geese. What's he gonna do? I believe he, he even has a Noctis. He has a lot of characters. He has a Noctis as well. We haven't seen that for a while. Mm -hmm. I always actually tease him. Like every time I see Kakuma, I'm like, yo, I wanna see that Noctis. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think he's just telling me I'm not ready for the Noctis. I'm telling him, they're not ready for the Noctis, Steve. Well, he's knocked in with Geese. So uh -oh. here we go, guys. Make some noise here for our losers semifinals. So much to play for, Kakoma and JDCR. He's just gonna keep doing. I wanted to do that Dude, too, man. I, I just like making people clap. You got in there before me. I was like, I'm all gonna right, do all it. Right, you know? Okay, <laughs> uh, that's the game we're playing, huh? Yeah, all right, bro, let's go. Right. Sook will be the stage. Sook. Now, I want to see what a. Uh, I, I will say, Geese is one of the characters I see. Uh, least developed when it comes to some of the tech. However, I feels like he has a very refined. Like play style. He knows exactly what he wants to go for. And yeah. it goes right back to the fact that like I don't feel like it's a counter pick strategy. It's more of a comfortable in how you feel with yeah, dealing with other people's strategy. Well we've seen him um, lose to JDCR. He he's tried a lot of characters versus him. So this wow. time he's going with the geese. Let's see how he fares. Let's get into it. Loser semifinals top four. Of course John Ding waiting down there and loses a loses finals. Yeah, he's the he's the, the main boss before you get back to Saint. Yeah, so this is our last match. That, uh, this is our last first two in this tournament. Everything after this will be a first two, three. Deep, okay. deep mind games. Oh, friends. get off me. You know who I am, bro? Look, you see how he smacked him with that down forward two? Don't you ever touch me. Oh, nice. But drops the combo, though. All right, down two. And this is the situation. This is where, this is where JDCR gets the power up, man. He starts chopping away. Oh god, plus friends, plus friends, and then chops to finish it off. Nice, from JDCR. You wow. never want you never want your life to reach like 30% versus JDCR, because like it's the match gets significantly harder. Yeah. Okay, oh. Using that down for two, that's good because JDCR stepping is ex extremely good. You got you want to stop him from stepping. Yes, I feel like that's <laughs> that's rule number one of stopping JDCR. Yeah. Don't let him sidestep because he will walk all around you trying to beat him on the floor. UFC, let's get plus frames. Okay. Fake activation. You need to be careful. One of the main tools for Geese is starting with that that. It goes right into max drive, max mode, and that's what's yep. gonna happen. And it's got insane wall carry as well. Insane. But breaks the throw. Yo, my boy Geese runs like a murderer. You see that? Yeah, I mean. It sticks his hands behind him, just goes crazy. So Kakoma on the board now. Jab jab. Nice low oh, parry. parry. One round of peace already. This is gonna be dangerous for Kakoma. Really close to that wall. Tries to go for the up 4 4. Didn't take the bait on the low. No punish on the down forward 1 4. Oh, nice punish. Yeah, down forward 2 again. Side nice. switch. Yeah. 
No matter what, he would have got the side switch, so. That's one good use of throws as well. But guys, guys counter hit here. It's a good damage. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, I thought he was about to do it. Got three bars of meter as well. Max mode. I can't believe he blocked that. Still. Finds a hit. Goes into max mode. Really close to that wall. Positioning in his Ooh, favor. Counter Ooh. hit. Down four. The Kokoma takes the lead in the match. Round four. Fight. Running two, running two. I haven't seen any parries from Geese, interestingly enough. Yeah, I can tell you right now, that's part of the reason Kakoma's playing like this. Because he knows Dragon Elf has to respect those counters no matter what. Yeah. That's going to make you a little more comfortable, especially in a neutral versus a player like JDCR. Absolutely. Big whiff, good punch the 1-1-2. One, one, Checking. Down 4-2 again. Oh, no. Wait. This is going to do damage. Off the wall. Oh. Combo. Kakoma's so close now. So close. Down two to take the first match. Kakoma doing so well. I think the difference there was, you know, that strong down four two. You know, just stopping him from stepping. Catching that counter hit as well. Mm -hmm. Kakoma. I was kind of stuck on that win. That win screen. <laughs> know your place. You got to get the camera on Kakoma if he wins. He, like, he does that little hair flick. Like, right? <laughs> like it's in a commercial. I said commercial. Here we say ad. Well, we say we say ad. Ad. Ah, uh, okay. Advertisement. I'm trying to. Yo, there's a Hey Hachi chant. Oh. Oh, allow it, guys. Oh, no, don't do come that. Come on, don't do. Come it. on, don't do that. You know what happened last time we did that. <laughs> That's not the point, man. Shouts to Rip <laughs> for making JDC all loose. We definitely started that chant. Uh, yeah, it was Rip. It was Rip. Rip started that chant. It was him. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's making the. No, no way. No, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Yo, guys, no. if you want the Hayachi, make some noise. Make some noise make right some now. Make some noise, guys, He's got right the now. character. You have to do it. <laughs> uh, well, you know, at the end of the day, JDCR does have a lot of points, eh? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, what's he going to do? He's thinking hard. He is thinking hard. Yeah, he's definitely thinking about it. Uh -oh, Checking uh -oh, the buttons. Uh -oh. Need to make sure these buttons are right if I'm going to do this. Puts the headphones on. Is he going to do Is he going to do it? He so takes him off. You guys better make some noise if this does come through. No. Oh, no. Let him know, lads. Let him know. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. Crowd erupts. They see him selected. Drinks the water. Man, he is really, he is dragging this out, huh? He is teasing the You gonna give you the Dragon Ball episode just over picking Heiachi, bro? I gotta wait till the next episode. Is <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, let's go. He's locked in. Hey, Hachi. Kakoma with a, with, a, with a wry smile. He's Howard. There we go. Oh, he, he bit his lip. He's nervous. He's nervous. I don't blame him. Oh, precipice of fate. Oh, this is not looking good, man. Okay. Hey, Hachi coming in from JDCR. Second match. You guys got what you wanted. Are you happy? You got your Hey, Hachi? I'm actually happy that you guys did it. Thank you. I wanted to see this. This is on you guys if he loses. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to want his entry money back. So you guys better line up down there. Like, well, I did that for y'all. That wasn't for me. <laughs> All right, game two. Come on. Oh, oh. the Mishima line, line ends here. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you think you're tougher than me? Round that one. shuts your mouth. Let's get into it. Second match. Fight. Heihachi versus Geese. Look at the movement already. <laughs> uh. hey, like, one thing about I have played JDCR's um, Heihachi before. His, his use of down forward one is super, super good. Really keeps you out. Oh, down back two, tapping them toes. Dirty lows. With the 1-1. One, one. He's like, yeah, I got one of those too. Down four. There we go. Electricity coming out now. Ooh, the counter hit. Full combo here. Should be taking it closer and closer to Wolper drops the combo. Back dashes. Taking his time. 1-1-2 one, one, again. Reset. First round. Game two goes to Kakoma. Okay. How is JDCR going to respond here? I don't know how much Heihachi he has been playing. I mean, I guess it's really hard to know, right? Yeah. Kind of hit on the... You see, the down forward being a high cross move is better to use versus Heihachi with um, the risk of that god fist. Mm -hmm. Stone hit. Nah, man. Good break. 
everybody in the crowd mimics the electric. <laughs> Get down forward one. Oh, the step! Wow! Oh, really? Really? Wow! Wow! Nice. Right, good punish. The step. Oh man! Oh, the Rapukin, and here we go now. Kokoma on set point to eliminate JDCR from the tournament. Going into max mode. What's he going to do? Go for that low. Oh, good punish. Ugh. So the crowd is really behind him in this Heihachi pit. Damn, blocking the whole sweep. Oh, down four, one, two. Rapukin. JGC are looking a little bit rusty with his hair, actually punishes right now. Let's see if he can pick it up. Oh, the size up again from Kokoma. His stepping has been so good. He's really looking to check to see if he's ducking or not. Double Rebuke! Damage. Damn, the damage. No, side switch steal though. Yep. The electricity not coming out. 16 seconds left on the clock. Good punish. Eight <laughs> seconds left on the clock. What's going to happen? Ah, you got to sidestep that because it takes away. Oh, God. Four seconds at three seconds. Just going to backdash. Just get out there. Ah. JDCR goes down to Kokoma. Yeah, Kokoma, of course, is very, very happy about that. I think that's like the first win he's got on JDCR, right? Hey, JDCR. guys, you made him pick Heihachi. Make some noise for my boy JDCR. He gave the crowd what they wanted. What a hit. What a legend. What a hero. Right.